Welcome to video one of the SEO Accelerator course. In this video, we're gonna talk about what is SEO and how exactly does this SEO thing work? Well, let's just dive into it. This is gonna be a very beginner-friendly video, but even if you're an intermediate SEO, I highly recommend you watch this because you may just find there are some things that really help you understand the process better. So let's get into it. The first one I'll discuss is, of course, what does SEO stand for? And it stands for Search Engine Optimization, which actually kind of gives it away what it is, but here's an explanation. SEO is the process of tweaking a page or website to get more and better quality traffic from search engines like Google, but could also be YouTube or any other search engine. And that's really, really simple to understand. Let me explain. If someone goes online and they search for best survival knife, and you have the best article, the best piece of content for, again, best survival knife, that is a keyword, then you would want to rank your website number one for this keyword. So what you're looking at right here is what you've probably seen a million times before, and that is the Google search engine results page, essentially just listing out all the different results for, again, this keyword, this phrase that you have searched. Now, why exactly would you want to do this? Well, just look at the data. A study from Bright Edge found that 68% of online experiences begin with a search engine. Another study from Backlinko found that just 0.78%, less than 1% of Google searches will click onto a result from the second page. Less than 1%. That means if you're not on the first page, you're not anywhere, right? Another study from SparkToro found that 92.96% of global traffic, almost 93% of global traffic comes from Google Search, Google Images, and Google Maps. That is 93% of traffic isn't from your Facebook, your YouTube, and your social media, which everyone is hyped about and talking about. 93% of it is from Google, right? That is huge. And one more from Bright Edge, SEO drives 1,000% more traffic than organic social media. You know, this big hypey thing, we're hyped about social media, look, I'm on it right now, but SEO drives 1,000% more traffic than organic social media. That is absolutely huge. Now, if you're new to this, you're probably thinking, yeah, but what about the hundreds of ranking factors that I need to figure out? This is really complicated. What about the thousands of algorithm updates every single year? And what about the unpredictability? Can't I just lose all my traffic overnight? Isn't it difficult? Isn't that unpredictable? Isn't that all of these things? Well, look guys, relax. It's easier than you think. See, let me explain. Picture a spider for a second. No, no, not, nothing like crazy, nothing terrifying, just a friendly, nice spider like this one right here. Now, what you need to understand is the absolute fundamentals is Google have a crawler, or you could call this a spider. And what this does is it just goes around the web and it just finds different web pages, of which there are trillions of them out there. Now, once I've identified all these different pages, it basically separates into like three different types of categories. Again, just keeping this nice and simple for anyone to understand. There's gonna be known pages, that is pages they know exist out there. There's gonna be cruel pages, which is pages they've actually sent the spider into to collect all the information, code and everything on that page. And then there's gonna be index pages, which is out of those pages that are crawled, which ones they decide to index, i.e. add to their search engine. And that's basically how they collect all this data. You don't need to submit your website to Google search engines. That's very, very like 1990s, 2000s SEO. It's more so about they just find it themselves and then they know about it. Then they crawl some of them, which they think are worth crawling. And then they index some of them, which they think are worth adding to their search engine. What happens on top of that is what we call the algorithm. That is where they, in short, and make it nice and simple, they sort the rankings. They decide which pages should rank higher than others and all that sort of thing. In fact, it's actually not just one algorithm, it is multiple algorithms, but that's basically all it is, right? They find pages, they crawl pages, they add them to their search engine, and then they add algorithms on top of that to decide, okay, how exactly do they sort all those rankings? Again, keeping this nice and simple to understand. 
Now it is true there are hundreds, if not thousands of factors that go into ranking a web page and how exactly they sort those rankings, but in reality, it's actually much, much simpler and it really comes down to three different factors. Those factors are authority, relevance, and trust. And how I like to remember this is just remembering art, right? Authority, relevance, and trust. Is your website an authority on this topic? Is it relevant to this topic, i.e. this keyword that someone is searching? And are you a trustworthy website and source of information? That makes it much, much easier. And if you look at the hundreds, again, or thousands of different ranking factors, they pretty much fall into measuring are you an authority, are you relevant, and are you trustworthy? That's pretty much how the algorithm works. Now, if we were to break this down even further, it comes into four areas of SEO. The first area is gonna be keyword research, which is identifying what are those phrases, what are those words that people are searching, again, inside of search engines. Beyond that, it comes down to number two, which is on-page SEO, which is how well your content and your page itself is optimized for those keywords and around the topics of those keywords. And then beyond that, it is technical SEO, which is how easy your website is to be crawled by again, Google Spider. Is it easy to crawl? Is there any issues preventing it? Is the site fast so it's quickly to crawl? And just different things like that. And then the final factor is gonna be link building, which is actually a really, really big factor. Also because it's indicators of how much of an authority your website is, and it leads crawlers to actually crawl on your website in the first place. It is another big ranking factor. So that is the four areas of SEO that you wanna focus on. Now, before you go anywhere, hold up because we're not done just yet. Firstly, I want you to do me a favor. Please click the like button below if you're enjoying this content so far. But beyond that, here's what you need to know, right? So you wanna rank number one in Google, just like here in the organic results. However, what about this, which is a featured snippet? Or what about this, which is a people also ask section? What about this, which is an image pack? Or what about this, which is a video pack? Or this, which is a local pack, right? A Google My Business pack, right? These are all alternative ways of ranking in the organic results. They're all quote unquote free, i.e. organic, and a different ways of ranking. There's also, of course, the ad section, which we're not gonna focus on in this course because that is paid, and there's a whole different game altogether but really you need to actually use Google and check these things out and actually learn the different types of organic results because all of them matter and all of them can drive traffic in slightly different ways. Now for this course specifically, I wanna focus specifically just on the typical organic results because it is, again, the fundamentals of SEO and it kind of ties in quite well with all the other areas like the featured snippet and like the Google My Business pack. Now, in the future, if you guys are interested, again, leave a comment as I go through this course. Let me know, and I'm happy to expand and dive into other areas specifically. But for this course specifically, I'd like to stay focused on the typical organic results. Anyway, guys, that wraps up video number one. In the next video, we're gonna go through how exactly do you do all these things? What is the exact process from day one to day finish that you rank your website? We're gonna go through the entire process step by step, the tools you're gonna need, and every part of that process so you understand what you're getting into before you get into it. So with that said, guys, again, if you like this video, please do me a favor, click the like button below. If you're not subscribed to my channel yet, please make sure you go ahead and do that so you get notified when the next video is released. And aside from that, I will see you in my next video.